This is the Real Ass Podcast. All right, let's guess this news here. All right, what is this guy? Uh, Eric Schneiderman, he didn't show his disgraced face. Blas calls for charges against the XAG. Government taps special prosecutor in abuse case. It's an abuse case. Okay. Suffolk DA opens additional investigation. Okay, so we're going to guess the news. This guy, Eric Schneiderman. Guess, uh, he's, getting, he's getting me too'd. He's getting accused of. He's getting me too'd. I believe so. I think they're looking into, uh, they're getting a RICO statute for scam that Jew. That's not okay. My guess. <laughs> he does look like a Jew, and Schneiderman is a quite Jewy name. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not judging a book by its cover, but this would I would say that he is pretty Jewish. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess abuse case, abuse case, abuse case. <sighs> the government tapped Schneiderman. Sp- Schneiderman <laughs> abuses women like nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> government tapped special prosecutor in abuse case. So the government special uh, tapping a special prosecutor. So I think this is somebody that he worked with. Okay, I think he was cheating on his wife with somebody. Okay, and that girl later on came out and said that he was abusing her um, and it was somebody that worked underneath him so now the government's getting involved Mm -hmm. and I'm going to say that he did not sexually abuse her he got physically rough with her multiple times and he has, she has proof what do we know Shannon what's it what is it wait I actually just found a second article but I'll I'll show you the uh, the headline we Schneiderman and the particularly horror of strang- the particular horror of strangling women. I'm pretty close. I don't know what he did. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm. A, I'm not a fucking jury. I'm not gonna be part of the public witch trials that they do against men these days. Mm-hmm. But I don't know exactly what the deal was with that law but i guarantee you that was like one part of like a bigger law yeah. and it wasn't specific he wasn't having a fucking press conference being like strangulation dude this is it we got to get a fucking new bill on the books it was probably some other fucking thing and, and one of the things in there made it a harsher crime for something like strangulation it's just what it also is, it's just out- irresponsible fucking journalism when they do that they always just fucking throw it at you so you go ah he's also the biggest fucking hypocrite because being a hypocrite is actually worse than beating women to be honest with you they started with that yeah, well, I mean, there's a reason to beat a woman. I mean, there's plenty. Yeah, no reason to be a hypocrite. Yeah. Like, if you'd punch a man for something that you wouldn't punch a woman for, that makes you a hypocrite and anti-feminist, really. We're so pro-women on this show, and yeah. that's the thing that I fucking love about this show, is that we're really all, we're fighting for women's yeah. rights. Yeah, of course. Can Constantly. we, Shan, can this be a clip on the YouTube? Can we put this out? Because we I want to show how into women we are. So the Schneiderman guy. So give me some more information, Shannon. I need some more information. Well, if what I do recall do? correctly, yeah. I think I think he was having consensual sex, but then it was like a situation where he started pushing it further. You know when you're like fucking a chick and you're like, this chick is drunk, she's into some weird shit, and you maybe slap him a little, and they're like, oh, I like that, and then you maybe go for the choke. You yeah, know what I mean, right. I think he was doing that, but the girl did not like it. So he just jumped ahead. Yeah. What, was it a girl? Who was it, Shannon? It says two ex-girlfriends came forward and said that he had strangled and physically abused them, but he does claim that it was uh, he engaged in role-playing and other sexually, uh, consensual sexual activity. Oh, yeah. see? He was doing fucking role-playing. This is definitely one of those things, though, or like when somebody's too adamant against something, you know there's a re- like they kind of probably like... Like whenever like you meet some fat girl with glasses who's like, I hate rape jokes. And then you go back to her house and she has nothing but rape fantasies. Oh, yeah. Not that that's happened to me a bunch. <laughs>